Hello to our Divine Light Healing Circle today with the theme of emotion. And I start with a prayer chant coming from this book, Fairy Wisdom. Maybe you can see it, maybe you cannot. There it is, there it's not. Oh, well. Um, it's by written by Nancy Brown and artwork by Amy Brown. Beautifully done. Um, the chant goes as following. I give thanks for the unconditional love that runs through every cell of my being. I give thanks that I am a conduit from which this energy flows. I give thanks for the God within each and every being on earth. And I give thanks for the recognition of all this. I allow spirit to work its mysteries through me. And I'm devoted to spirit and to myself. And I'm now able to give to another fully as I am in the eternal crystal white stream of God light. So be it. And with that, we are calling in the white light of the divine from the universal oneness flowing into the top of our heads, into every single cell of our brains, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck. White light flows into our shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips, along the spine and muscle structures in the back, into the heart, it chest, it goes, into the solar plexus, it flows, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. All old non-supportive beliefs can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling so that just a glistening divine white light prevails. Then let it overflow from your heart into your aura filling your electromagnetic field so that you have a beautiful shimmering white light aura around you, which stabilizes itself with every single breath. And as we are now having this white light around us, we are expanding it into the room we are sitting in. And we are expanding it into the house or place or apartment we are living in. And we are expanding it into the city we are living in. With every single breath, it's done easily and naturally. We are calming down all nervous energy in our vicinity, in the house, in the city and then we expand the golden and white light gold naturally from our soul vibration and white light from the divine into the whole country with every single breath it's easily done to expand and any kind of blockages in our body or our mind or our spirit can be transmuted and transformed by the white light stream easily and naturally as the white light pours out of our heart like a fountain. It flows in through our head and out of our heart like a fountain expanding with every single breath. It's kind of exciting to see the flow steadily emanating and steadily widening. Now, even into the whole globe surrounding our earth with a shimmering, purifying white light. While we are doing this, we are firmly grounded to be able to hold this white light stream, this tremendous, strong stream of light. As we are becoming this acupuncture point of light on this planet, causing ripple effects 
in our environment. And as we embrace Mother Earth with the white light, impurities vanish. Impurities of thoughts, emotions, aggression, confusion, all that which doesn't belong in a healthy environment. Energies which are distorted get aligned. And here comes naturally already the orangey sparkling light to close any ethereal gaps, any rifts which have been created artificially to let darkness in. These dark portals are going to be closed at this moment of the time through the orangey sparkling light coming in from the universal oneness flowing through our body and out in tendrils of healing, finding naturally those rifts in the ethers where dark portals are bringing in energies of darkness and energies of undue polarity, while we're bringing in balance with this white light and the orangey sparkling ember light. And the sparkles of the ember light fly out on its own accord and seek out these areas which need to be energized, which had been deadened, which need to be revived. And we might have even for that in our own body, a tingling sensation of reviving energies where something was deadened within us, whether it was deadened emotions or deadened cells or deadened belief structures or anything which deaden our spirit to be now again alive and lively and joyful, full of life, given new life, expanding life to its fullest. And within this stream of sparkling lights, a liveness will be triggered all around the globe like the white light has been emanating around this globe, around our planet, so does the sparkling lights finding their target to revive, renew life. Life finds a way where deadened city streets are paving over life life finds a way to break through so that life finds a way also to break through here to dead in hearts or dead in minds. And with that, we are bringing in the rainbow lights today with all the lighter scale of light vibration reds and purples and blues and greens and lilacs and violets and pinks, all those yellows come from the universal oneness. And like the picture behind me, these energies flow into us and pulsating through us. Our physical form takes from this nurturing light vibration what it needs, any frequencies one at a time. All energy holes get filled. Our aura 
energy field strengthen itself by doing so, smoothing over all energy holes easily and naturally, making our aura strong, making our person strong, making our emotional and metal, metal body strong too. Physically, emotional and mental body, so as the spirit body naturally gets strengthened by these nurturing godly light vibrations. And here we become the fountain again. The stream from above flows through us and from the heart around the globe. All shades of magenta, purples, blues, greens, reds, pinks, oranges, yellows, and whites, shimmering crystalline light. And we are seeing and feeling and sensing that these light of the rainbow permeates the earth like a colorful rain, bringing in exactly those frequencies which are needed around the planet, whether it's a country in a state of mind or a physical landscape or the minds and hearts of people or the ease or dis-ease of animals or humans all living creatures can take from this nurturing light vibrations on all levels of existence. While these energy flows, our heart gets wider and wider. And we feel a sense of peace. And we connect with this angelic realm from which we come. Some of us might feel like we want to spread our wings and fly. Others might feel dissolving like into ether of light. From wherever we came from, we are now reconnected to all what we once were, as now the sparkling lights from the universe is in association to our soul be brought in to reconnect ourselves to our fuller selves. A natural expansion jump will happen now as we are more now here on earth, connected and reconnected to that what we once were in a good way, in a light way, in a healing way. Some of us might have memories come up from past lives or what I call parallel lives. It is okay to watch the movies of aspects of who you once were. Acknowledge them. And if you see a attribute which you like, you can embrace it into your heart and let that attribute grow within your energy system like a flower to expand in your energy field. If you had a special talent of healing, invite it now. If you had a special talent for teaching or talking or anything to share wisdom, embrace it now. If you had medical or herbal or other wisdom insights, you can incorporate them now. 
if you had an overview of a bigger picture of how this universe works and you feel a big knowing, you can incorporate it now. And as you're incorporating all these aspects of yourself, of what you once were and still are, a blossoming happens right here in this 3D world. A blooming. And for that purpose, I would like you to choose a flower symbol of your blooming. And whatever flower it might be, or maybe it's a tree. Take it symbolically into your heart for the symbolism to allow this blooming to happen here in 3D, bringing in from above the aspects of what you are and were into the here and now. Wisdom, insights, knowledge, heart space, and love all to be reintegrated into the now. As your soul is eternal and with that eternity symbol, seal in and acknowledge the flower blooming with the eternity symbol of yes, I continue to uphold the wisdom I once knew. And yes, I will continue to expand this knowledge and wisdom into the world. And yes, I am recommitting to expand true love and heart space. And after the eternity symbol, you might see a very unique geometrical form. This geometrical form has to do with a building block of the universe. Mass is important in the universe. You can find wisdom and truth and mass. And so also in geometrical building blocks of the universe. So see what kind of building block you see in front of you and grab it and bring it into your heart as well. Because you will incorporate that particular building block into your energy field, into your existence. You make that building block bigger. Whatever it stands for, you do not need to know right now what it stands for. You just need to incorporate it consciously into your physical existence. And maybe you see several flashing. You don't have to pick and choose. Incorporate them all. It's okay. And whenever a building block of that nature is needed in spirit to go somewhere, you will be able to multiply and fill in energy holes where other entities or energies took away. You will be able to multiply the building block out of you and fill energy holes easily and naturally because you're holding that frequency, that formula within yourself. And out of those geometric formulas come maybe numbers at you. And these numbers carry frequencies too. And when you see these numbers, welcome you 
as a messenger and welcome the numbers as messengers to you. You will receive information and you will give out information through number frequency resonance. So let's say when you see a three and you see from here on out in the upcoming days, three or three, 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 you will know that there is some shift and reconnection happening. Other frequencies are about two and one and seven and eight and whatever you might see, you might also see a combination of numbers, angel numbers, whatever numbers you're seeing, let them resonate in your energy system right now because they will lead you to a higher radiance and resonance. And now we are calling in all light beings and guiding ones and guiding ones who want to be of service to help the people we have on our healing list. As we in the circle, holding hands with beings to our left and beings to our right, which we can clearly feel now. And those beings will elevate our energy field to create a coherent healing field in which we invite now the following people on our list. I calling into the healing circle, all beings with cancer. All the ones with cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, various tumors, melanoma, ovarian cancer, any kind of cancer, we invite you now into the circle of transformation, into the field of the white light with the radiance of the rainbow pulsating through the white light sphere. And as we are in the circle, bringing our attention to the center of the circle, a sphere of healing will be created. And in this sphere, like a ginormous balloon, only healing will take place. Transmutation and transformation of the highest order for everyone invited. And you who are watching this later, you are also invited to bring your loved ones to this circle, to this bubble of healing to this cocoon of safety. The healing circle and the healing bubble is big and vast enough for the ones who need it. And our temperature in the healing circle might rise significantly. That does not mean that you all of a sudden have a fever. It just means that the energy vibration is rising significantly. So do not panic. Keep on well grounded as the energy vibration reaches a peak while light beings assist in this healing of the cancer candidates to transform the disease of what we call cancer into ease and grace of perfect health. And all the ones who have been called into the circle for that healing will be tagged so that light beings and guiding ones can continue to do their healing on those ones, to have continuously release from chemo symptoms or other diseasement symptoms. Tag them and heal them 
continuously and so be it and we are grateful. Now we are releasing those group and bring in the next one with emotional distress. And there's so many people with emotional distress from whatever it is created. We are calling in those people with all sorts of emotional and mental stress and disturbances. And we are bringing in those into their healing bubble, this healing cocoon with the white light and the rainbow lights to counteract any kind of physical, emotional, and mental distress so that spirit can reign to bring in harmony and ease and grace. Smoothing over holes on the energy field so that no more energy leakage is done bringing in a feeling and sense of wholeness and oneness and connection versus feeling alone and lost. Connection with the divine is always given and always in existence, no matter where you are or who you are. And so we are letting all these emotionally distressed people also be tagged to continue to be worked on by these wonderful light beings who help and assist us right now. Now I'm called to call in all animals and also children in distress. Children ripped apart by divorce, children distressed by war or poverty, children abused in all forms, and so the animals abused or having allergies or being misused or having other symptoms, whatever it may be. Let the children and the animals come forth into the healing circle, into the healing cocoon, to get exactly the frequency they need to survive and thrive. A beautiful dancing and giggling and joyful energy engulfs them all. Children's laughter instead of cries are heard. Children's joyful giggle, happy barking or meowing or quacking from birds. There's a lot of noise going on in the bubble right now, but all full of heaviness, happiness instead of heaviness. And so many children pair up with a pet energetically and they keep each other company and will keep each other company on their healing journey in spirit, even if they are physically not together. Each child will have an animal companion and each animal has a child companion. They will not be alone on their healing journey. And so spirit be so kind to take all of them to be further also worked on easily and naturally to feel and feel God's grace. And so after those release, we are now bringing in all the pregnant women who are in distress.
and all the unborn babies who are in distress. We are calling in all pregnant women and babies in distress. And we're seeing doubt lifted away from the souls of the mothers. And we are seeing deformities vanish in the babies or organs spilled being built stronger within the womb of and within the children in the womb. Lots of uplift being done, lots of grayness disappears and colorful joy coming in. Positive expectation is coming in and despair is going out. The joy of life is present everywhere in the mothers and in the children. A spark of God's life and love is contagious and brings joy and belonging as well. And please, we ask now again to tag these women and the children in the womb for further healing. Thank you for coming and joining us in the circle. We release you for further procedures through the light beings and guiding ones who are of service. Next, we calling into the healing circle, all the ones which long-term disease, MS or Parkinson's or other such long-standing diseases, Lyme disease, high blood pressure, all long-standing this easements, also the stress in transgender circumstance, whatever it might be, which causes stress. Let all the long-term stress people come in for ease and grace to transmute and transform this distress and this ease. And I'm seeing a whole swarm like fireflies of dancing little beings going to work on those called into the circle with a long-term disease, little specks of light flitting around everywhere, going to work, these little nanites of God's idea of wholeness and oneness going to work to shift and change existence. The ones who want to be healed and said, yes, my soul wanted to have an experience of a dis-ease or distress. Now I want to have something else. Are allowed to have the wholeness and oneness back. In remembrance of who they really are, eternal soul. And so these little light, light spark beings go to work all over the place. It looks like a swarm of colorful bees or flies or light sparks dancing around. It looks like without an order, but everything has an order and everything is in order. And again, blockages might be felt should be removed so that we can let them go. Attention might be put into areas where old imprints are sitting to be removed. Old imprints out 
and wholeness and oneness in. And this transition can be done easily and naturally without a big ado, just like that. And now ginormous hands come and lift the healing cocoon up higher to a higher vibration right than we can reach. And it's almost as if this healing cocoon is uplifted like a light balloon swooping upwards to bring in higher frequencies, higher frequencies than we can obtain at this moment to bring down. So the bubble goes up and we in the circle holding space why all the beings in that cocoon or healing bubble get being worked on. While these being worked on, we might feel a suction up with our spirit to higher regions as well. And at the same time, we might see all sorts of light beings which assist in the healing which stand with us shoulder to shoulder and lend their light for the purpose. It's interesting to see how many beings there are and how they look like and how they feel like. Tremendous love pours out of all beings, including us, as we are made out of pure love. That's our essence. And with that essence, we heal. And as there light bubble and cocoon of the long-term healing stays up in a higher dimension, we are now focusing on building up a new one. Because these other light bubble and cocoon will continue to work on the spirit so that these beings who have long-term diseasement can continuously be worked on and their energy healing trickles down from the higher spheres to the lower spheres into the physical form steadily, strongly, always until the healing is complete. So we are building up a new one for the next on our list. So as the new bubble forms, we are bringing in the ones who are tired, have back problems, physical problems, injuries, and need general healing. Fatigue, kidney problems, vaccination reactions, heart problems, and also old age related this ease. And again, because of the variety of these beings, we are calling into the new healing circle and healing bubble and healing cocoon. These light sparks are moving and flitting around again here as well. Like a swarm, looks like madness, but it is with a purpose there flying around and doing the work, taking something away here and putting something new in there. We are just holding the space and watch with amazement how God's plans work, how healing works when love heals.
And interestingly enough, like we did with us before, these people now have a blossom in their heart. So many different symbols of blooming in each and every heart. Not only for the ones with heart disease, but all of them have a blooming and a blossoming happening at this moment in time. And all of them can say, I love myself as who I am, eternal soul. This life is just like a blink of an eye, short and frail. But my eternal life is strong and eternal, limitless. And with that, we see these people in the healing circle expand in vibration and light and become their essence. And with becoming their essence, they are being made mindful in physical form of their essence. Which will have a biochemical effect. And as this essence is taking over the guidance of these ones in our circle and the healing cocoon, we might also have helpers who introduce themselves now to bring out the best of our essence. May it be power animals, may it be light beings. We are confronted with helpers in our own life right now. Feel the love you are showered with from these beings. Look at the symbolism what they might represent too, beyond just giving you energy and power and lending you their wisdom and essence. And with that, we are bringing in the essence again into our heart to connect and embrace and anchor those freely given gifts. We are grateful to be of service and we are grateful to receive gifts of ourselves. And after this gratefulness, we are sending the light back to the higher regions from which it came to illuminate us. And we send some also down to Mother Earth to help her illuminate in the mirror effect and make the love and light in our life grow. So as the light was sent from the oneness, we reflecting back to make it more. And as we are sending light to the core of Mother Earth, she reflects it back to make it more. This acceleration synergistically 
brings more light and vibration into every single normal day of life. Here on earth in 3D. With that said, we are blessing all people and beings who are tagged to be worked on continuously. And if we in the circle have a diseasement or problem, we ask also to be taken care of with the problems at hand. God source, if my problem is meant for me to have, let me see the bigger picture and understand why. And if this problem is not your will, take this problem away from me to be transmuted and transformed and be done with. Strengthening our heart and mind and spirit in the process. With that, we are being grateful and we coming back full into our day-to-day -day form. Thanking the beings on our left and thanking the beings on our right for holding our hands and not breaking the circle as we're coming back in to our physical form, expanded with a wider heart and with a graceful mind, full of kindness. Thank you for conjoining us on this spiritual journey.